Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm making a video that I genuinely didn't think I'd be making today, but uh, I've just got back inside. It's snowing outside in England. Don't ask me why. Horrible weather. Now, I'm going to give a little bit of a warning. This video is absolutely not the sort of video I normally make, and it's it's on a bit of a touchy so uh, it's on a bit of a touchy subject. But I was sent this while I was out, and I am in pure disbelief at the the new you know the lowest lows that the nft community have stepped to so this is a post that i was linked what y'all have been waiting for etika punk nfts commemorate the life of etika who sadly ended his own life with these one-of-a-kind nfts made by fellow fans of his it's made by one person who um won't disclose who they are so that's already a great sign so to to just catch you guys up to speed, Etika was a YouTuber in America who passed away in 2019. He chose to end his own life. Uh, reasons are the reasons for that are obviously important, but they're not they're not important to this video and the context of this video. So we won't be covering that. However, in 2019, he did decide to end his life, and he had a long, a long-lasting, large following and fan base. Uh, I personally didn't watch his videos, but I was fully aware of him. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting that, that this is even a thing. Now, some people thought this was a joke to begin with. But they've actually got a collection that you can mint that's listed on Rarible. Now, the reason that this makes this important is to get listed on Rarible, you have to pay a very heavy fine. A very heavy fee to get listed on there. Uh, I believe it's in the realm of three to four Ethereum, which is about seven to ten thousand, depending on price at the time. Seven to ten thousand dollars. So this isn't a joke. This is this was done with intent to at least recoup seven to ten k. I, I mean, pure disbelief. The fact that these sort of things are happening is disgusting. I mean, let's go over and look just just to show. There is indeed a collection listed on Rarible. Now, luckily, it seems like the community have only minted four of these, and it seems like these were all minted by Etika Punks. So the, the crypto bros are even realizing, okay, this is an investment I don't want to touch at all. Now, it's funny to notice that they haven't actually listed on OpenSea. And I believe the reason for that is because OpenSea have had the thumb of God pressing down on them recently because some of the dodgy projects that they've had listed on here, they've had to remove. So I think these guys know that if they were to be listed on here and then removed, that would just be, that would look awful. So instead, they paid their way into the, the sort of verified status on Rarible to, to give themselves legitimacy. The ethics of this aren't even questionable this is somebody who took their own life and somebody else is profiting purely profiting off of his death so here's the thing this seems to have been started by a forum called r drama which just seems to be exactly what you think it's kind of another 4chan from the looks of it but it's apparently a joke whether it's a joke or not, they are selling these things for money and they are listed on Rarible. This is not something you would do as a joke and spend that amount of money into making it if you didn't expect to at least get that money back. This is mind-blowing to me. Now, normally, I would tell you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Instead, I recommend that you share this video on Twitter and tag Rarible. Because this is not okay. This is the definition of everything that's currently wrong with the NFT with the NFT technology. It's just wrong. And this isn't even the first instance of this. After Stan Lee passed away, somebody had either hacked or purchased his Twitter account somehow. I, I don't know how. Or had access to it. And started selling shitty NFTs that were actually nothing to do with him. We're in this weird age now where people are using dead influential people to profit themselves. 
Now, that's always been the case that that's sort of happened with merch and stuff, but this is taking it to a new level. I mean, can you really call it a joke when they are for sale? At that point, I think it stops being a joke. Now, one of the obvious problems and perks, I guess, with the blockchain is it can't be moderated. You can't take someone's things off the blockchain. Uh, that, that's one of the, the selling points of it, and it is also one of its downfalls to a certain extent. However, Rarible can be held accountable for this. They absolutely can. Share, what I will ask you to do is share this video on Twitter. Tag Rarible. Kick up a fuss about this and then make sure something gets done. Not just for poor Etika, who's now had fucking NFTs of his, uh, you know, late self made. But this is a trend that's going to continue. This is not a fan project at all. If I was to, you know, pass away tomorrow and any of my family, friends or viewers decided that they were going to make an NFT project of me and then, you know, rake in the profits of it, I'd be turning in my grave. And I'm pretty sure anybody else would. If this is what Etika would have wanted, this would have been the last thing he did before he passed away. But he didn't. If he'd have left it as a, you know, an image or memory of himself, that would be fully understandable, fully, re you know, fully acceptable. But when other people are capitalizing on the deaths and memories of long gone people, I, I don't know what to say. We've reached, ladies and gents, we have reached an all time low. We've, we've absolutely reached an all time low here. I, I really don't have anything else to say on this, guys. So, um,. This isn't going to be a video that replaces tomorrow's video. There'll be a tomorrow video as well. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and an awesome week. This is something that needed to be made pretty much right away, being as it's a seven-day sale, and I think it needs to be dealt with instantly. There'll be no stream today, as it's not one of my usual stream days, but as always, I will see you in tomorrow's video. So until then, take care.